Hello everybody and welcome to the start of my December monthly collective haul. So unlike November where I filmed it on basically the second to last day of the month, today is December 1st and so I already have things to share with you so that's pretty exciting um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I have a feeling that this haul is going to be a lot longer than last month's for sure. Um, so the first thing I want to share with you, it's from Etsy. It is not planner sticker or wax melt related, but I did want to share it with you because I'm very excited. So if you've been following me on Instagram for years, every year we get a family ornament. We started this um, in 2015 with Avery. Like it was basically when we had Avery when we became a family. We would always get them at these like, they used to be kiosks in the mall, but as of like the past two years, it's been like a whole store that they have these ornaments and they write your names on it, whatever. And I haven't like the past few years, I've had gripes with them because like sometimes people would write your name super lazily or like, I don't know. I just feel like the designs have never changed. And I just was like, I don't know. I don't like really want to get our ornament from the mall anymore. So I was like, let me just support a small business. I went on Etsy. I looked up personalized ornaments. There is a butt ton. And I ordered one and I really love it and it came and it's so cute. So I have, I'll put a link to the Etsy shop down below. It's called MJC Woodworking and it came like packaged so cute. Like this was in like a little box with like crinkle paper. It was just like the cutest thing ever. So here, you open it up. I'm obsessed. Oh, and it even has a little to from tag, which is cute. Cause if you were gifting this to somebody, which actually might save that. But look at this ornament, you guys it's so beautiful it has like a like a burnt wood smell which is just amazing so you can't really see it because it's in white because but it says the krasinski's 2021 which i definitely wanted 2021 i always want the year on it and then i got these little little reindeer and there's like snowflakes in the background so obsessed with this i think it's so cute they shipped it so quickly so if you're still looking you know for an ornament for this year or if you're looking for a gift or something for somebody for next year i'm putting it in here because i'm so nervous something's gonna happen to it um yeah definitely check them out and obviously just search around etsy because there's so many cute ones i have already have ideas of what i want to get next year so that is the first thing i wanted to show you next up i have an order from once more with love which i'm very excited for i have not gotten this uh, journaling card and it is so cute the little stationary crisis i love this this is adorable so i did already open this because i wanted to get my invoice out here's the back mark is the cutest Okay, so I have a couple of freebies here. This is the November freebie because I did order this in November. Um, I love stickers, washi pens, new year, new... I love the new planner. That's so cute. So that's the... I don't even know where to put anything. And then this old school SPC once more with the holiday freebie. I have a bunch of these still in like this really pretty blue foil. Okay, and then here's my order. I got the little half sheet of the winter outerwear couples. I thought they were super cute. Confused 2.0 to add to my growing emotions collection, basically. This is the holiday TVs. I thought these were really cute. The Black Friday sales. I feel like these will work really, really well for like any time, but Black Friday, Cyber Monday are like very specific. I still wanted them though, so love that. The holiday snacks in bed. I love that the munchkin is cuddled up next to a gingerbread man. I think that's the cutest thing. The Winter Wonderland Animals, which I might already have this sheet, but here we are. Do you want to build a snowman? I thought these were so cute, especially because like it's almost guaranteed it's going to snow again in Texas. So really looking forward to that. I also was just going through my collection the other day and I realized I have a couple sheets of these. So oops, these are the Holiday Shopping Madness 2.0s. Maybe because they're 2.0s, they're a little different. I don't know, but still could use them. Holiday Baking the ornaments. I went back and forth like, on these, but I think they're going to be really cute. I have an idea for them. So holiday ornaments, weather mixed. I had a couple of the weather sheets in my cart, but I saw Andrea haul these and she got the mixed sheet. And I was like, that makes so much sense because like, I don't normally mark when it's like sunny or anything, but like the allergies, the thunderstorm, the snow, like those could always be needed potentially. So grab those. I love a little frozen one. The leg cramps, oh, which I knew I got these right after we got back from Disney because I did. My knee popped. It was insane. Bowling, and then I got the whoa. So, like, whoa, whoa is me, not whoa. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that was my order from Once More With Love. Next, I have my Nerdy Wax Company Christmas Holiday Advent, which I have already torn into because 
I can't help myself. I hate surprises, I have to know. So I opened everything as soon as I got it. It has been like a week since I've gotten it though, so I kind of don't really remember most of the smells, but I'm very excited to share it with you. So you open it up here and you got a bunch of stuff on top and then all of them are in here. So we'll go through those quickly. So, um, oh, I had a little sticker I was gonna show you, but anyway, so here's the Nerdy Wax Company, like journaling card, business card. And then this was like in collaboration with Creativity and Ink. So you have a couple of items in here. Let's see, I haven't opened these yet. Ooh, the cello's ripping, whatever. So you have like a journaling card and then this is some stickers of like some of the villains. And then this is a super cute little Lotso. This could go in like a water bottle, I think. So that's in like collab with Creativity and Ink. And then also this. So these are a bunch of washi tapes. So you have a few of these five, no, these have gotta be like two and a half millimeter strips. These are so teeny, maybe they're five, I don't know. But they're like Disney related and like a hollow foil. You have a black, a navy, and like a green. This reminds me of like the 50th colors. I'll add it to my stack. And then this one is a 15 millimeter with all of, oh, you're not gonna be able to see, all the villains that I just showed in the stickers. So that is like the collab. And then I have everything, I'll try. I tried to keep them together because I got the villains and the sidekicks. You could get just the villains, just the sidekicks, but I decided to get both. So I'll try to keep them together as best as I can, but I don't. this is not gonna be an order of one through 25. Um, so the first one here is Maleficent. This is Jasmine and Green Apples. Look how cute that is. I just wanna touch it. Mm. That smells so good. I feel like Nerdy Wax Company weirdly does floral scents really well. So I really enjoy that. So that's Maleficent. Then we have the Sidekick, which is in like a small kind of one ounce size shot cup. This is Diablo, which is vanilla, smoked firewood, and s'mores. Oh my God. You can definitely just smell the smoky like firewood. I wonder if like the chocolatey scent will come out on warm. I'm interested for that one. Interested to see that one. Okay, next I have Ursula. I knew just by looking. So pretty. This is ocean water and lilac perfume. Mm. I don't know. This is a little more floral than I would prefer, but I think the ocean water kind of tames it down, which is pretty nice. And then we have Flotsam and Jetsam, which is sandy beaches, mixed berries, and peach. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <sighs> Sorry. Mmm. This is good. This smells like summer. Mm. I like that a lot. That smells amazing. Okay. Um, next, we have Dr. Facilier. Oh, I love Dr. Facilier. This is powdered sugar fluffy beignets. Have his big hat there. Mmm. This kind of smells like burnt beignets, which sounds weird. Maybe I'm just like smelling this hat. I don't know. I think it's gonna smell good on warm though. It definitely gives like a very nice like bakery element. And then you have shadow, which is chocolate donuts and pecans. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so chocolatey and amazing. That's so good. Love that. And I love how dark all of these are. Like that dark red is so pretty. Okay. Um, then you have, let's see here. We have, I think it's Shanyu. Shan Yu from Mulan, right? Yes. Is this the new Mulan? It might be. Uh, this is aloe vera, musk, and snowflakes. Mmm. What does snowflake smell like? This definitely smells like musky aloe vera, which is not bad at all. It smells, oh, I lost a little sword. It smells pretty good. Did I, no, I didn't drop it back in yet. Come back in. Okay, so there's that one. And then the sidekick, I'm going to mispronounce this so badly. Also, oh, it is the, the Falcon is in the original Mulan, right? I'm not, I haven't seen a live action one. I also haven't seen Mulan in years. Um, Hayabusa the Falcon, sure. Rainwater, Snowfall, and Sea Salt. Mmm, this smells amazing. Salty. I like it. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have Lotso which actually just melted their Lotso scent from like two years ago the other day. Not the other day, it's been like weeks. This is Strawberry Filled Hugs. I hope it smells the same. It do. It smells exactly the same as the other Lotso. I'll take it because that was amazing. And this little strawberry is so cute on top. 
Um, and then we have Stretch, which is grape juice and plum spice. The little octopus. Oh my god. That is so weird because this smells exactly like strawberries and this smells exactly like grapes. I really love that. Like, weirdly love that. That smells so good. Okay. Um, next, we have Yzma. Yzma's like one of my favorite villains of all time. Guava nectar, dragon fruit, sli dragon fruit slices, and hibiscus flowers. Oh my god, that's so cute. Mmm. Very light, but it almost smells like the creativity and ink, like pink drink one that they did, which I love, so I'm excited. And then Kronk, which is blackberry, gooseberry, and mango slices. Mmm, that's good. I love mango. That's so nice. Okay, so those are good. Love those. Next, we have Scar, which is peanut butter sandwiches. I love that. Look at the little scar. So I've noticed with peanut butter scents that the peanut butter always tends to be lighter on cold, but when you melt it, it really comes out. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And then we have, I think it's Shenzi, Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed, which are the um, hyenas, gravel roads, and salted caramel. Oh my God, this is amazing. I don't know what the gravel roads is. All I smell is the salted caramel. That is so good. Love a good salted caramel. Okay, then we have another one of my favorite. Hades. I feel like Hades is like almost everybody's favorite because he's amazing. Sliced kiwis, cucumber, blood orange, and lime juice. Oh my god, it's my hair. Oh, that smells amazing. It gives me like cucumber melon vibes. I'm obsessed with that. Love that one. And then we have pain and panic, strawberry kiwi, and bubblegum. Oh, it's two-toned. Strawberry kiwi and bubblegum. Oh my god, it smells amazing. That literally smells so good. Those are like my childhood. Both of these smells together like my childhood. I'm obsessed with those. Okay. Next we have Lady Tremaine. A little gemstone here. Green tea, honey, and fresh cotton. Again, I love this like dark red color. Oh gosh, I can't really smell anything. Here we go. I think I'm mostly just smelling the cotton. I don't smell anything else. So that was Lady Tremaine. And then we have Lucifer, which fun fact, my aunt had a cat named Lucifer and we call him Purr Purr. He was so cute. This is coconut milk. It has a little cat face. Mmm. Very light. I feel like this would be a good mixer scent for something. Okay. Then we have Cruella, which is Morocco orchids, apricots, and peonies. That's cute. Very floral. Not terrible. I think this would smell good on warm. That one's not closing all the way. Come on. Here we go. And then Horace and Jasper, which is chocolate brownies and hazelnut flavored coffee. Love that. Mmm. Oh my god, I want brownies. That smells so good. I'm so hungry. Okay, next we have Captain Hook, another favorite villain. I love Captain Hook. This is Blue Lagoon Water, Honeydew, and Ocean Winds. Please smell like pirates. It smells a little bit like pirate's water. Just a tiny bit. Mm, that's good though. Oh, did I show you guys the hook? Very cute. And then Mr. Smee. I love Mr. Smee. Blueberry muffins, ocean water, and musk. Little thing. I'm taking this out because I feel like it doesn't add anything. I don't really smell the blueberry muffins. I just smell the ocean water. Interesting. Not bad though. I like the way ocean water smells. Okay, next we have Jafar, which is red sangria wine, men's cologne, and sliced apples. Little snake. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. I like Jafar's a lot. That smells amazing. And then with Jafar, we have Iago, which is mandarin and pomegranate seeds. Oh, God, this is good, too. Mm, that's so fruity. I really get the pomegranate. I really like that one. Okay, and then last but not least, we got a clamshell of the evil queen. This is in Lemon Drops and Poisoned Apples. Super cute. I love how the crown's like up here too. That's so cute. Oh my god, the lemon drops are so lemony. It smells like lemon candy. I don't even smell the apples, which is hilarious because apples are like usually a very prominent scent. But that lemon is so powerful. I actually really enjoy that. Normally I don't like lemon that smells like that, but that smells really good. So that was the Nerdy Wax Company Advent. That's the only 
yeah that's the only admin i got so that's like a ton of wax but as you guys can see from my wax melting basket videos i'm still melting last year's advent but that is going to be it for this first part of the haul Alrighty, i am back with another part to this haul i told y'all i have a feeling december is going to be a long one um so i have a couple sticker orders these were both black friday orders i have something on my glasses sorry i just like cannot see um so this is from carly plans i've just been loving carly plans shop i haven't been getting a lot of things but like her scripts make me so happy it's just like wild and i love that she does customs like ugh, so nice so um here are the freebies i had a bunch of freebies which i'm so excited about and i yeah these are so cute i don't think i've gotten any of these or maybe i have I don't think I have. Okay, so this is just the All Orders freebie, which is like the prettiest like winter colorway of some winter items. I especially really like these nail polishes, and I think the book is really cute. I'm obsessed with that. This is the November freebie, which obviously you can't get anymore because it's currently December, and by the time you see this video, it will probably be January. Um, but I like that these are all sort of like Christmassy themed. I love the little tree, the little letters, and the mailbox is really cute. This is a $15 plus freebie. It looks like a bunch of just like household things and cleaning items and stuff like that. And then this is the $30 plus freebie, which this is currently the exclusive colorway for the month of December. Oh, the snowflake is so pretty again in the book. It's so nice to have some of these too because like I'll totally use the wax warmer and the book and the planner and the TV and all sorts of things. So that was like my cute little pile of freebies that I have a nice little stack going next to me. And then my order, like I said, is, did I say, I don't know. It's pretty small because I just got <laughs> some custom scripts. So I went through my custom morning coffee from Carly Plans so quickly. I think within like three spreads, especially because I mark it for like every day, which can be very repetitive and dumb, but I really like it. So I totally got five of these morning coffees. I love her font choice number one, stacked. It's like low key my favorite thing on this planet. So I got five of them, but you know, I don't wanna run out. And then I did just get one of cinnamon rolls because we do make cinnamon rolls just about every Sunday. And I was like, I kinda wanna not write it in anymore. So for things that I tend to write a lot like every week i think i'm gonna maybe start getting customs for because it's very easy so this is my very small order from carly plans but it will definitely get used next up i have my black friday order from planna hannah i really need to one night just like or one day it doesn't matter sit down and go through all of my kits and see and go through her like shop like have like my computer next to me and be like okay what underlays do i want to do with this what like stuff do i want to do with this because i feel like there's so many that i miss out on because i just like don't think about to, like to look but anyway i placed an order it's again a smaller order but i'm very excited for everything because i have ideas so this is her new journaling card i believe this probably is just for december but it's super super cute she's such a sweetie okay and then i got two freebies here i love these so i feel like this was i don't know okay but first of all this foil is gorgeous it like gives me like very bronzy vibes i don't know what foil is this her rose gold it might be but it has like the cute little like mistletoe holly berries clean all the things cook some like cleaning and some snowflakes and this one is in silver which is so pretty like the little tinsel corners online shopping a present or gifts decorate candy cane gingerbread man and then these like snowflake clusters which are just ugh, so freaking pretty saving those for sure okay so she came out with bottom washi and um header overlays and i was just like oh my god these are so cute so i knew i had to get some of these bottom washies because they were just amazing so i got this first one here and this is star two and this is in her like hot pink colorway or color foil color because i figured this would look really good with the merry and bright um kit that i want to use for my birthday and then so these are the 15 millimeter strips and then the side here this is a bunch of little deco pieces which are really cute and i feel like even after I use these, I would still like cut this into little pieces and keep them because these would be so cute in just little spreads. And then I did get Twinkle One in both silver and hollow because I feel like these could be used with any kit, any style. I really like the Twinkle bits. I think they're super cute. And then I did get the Ice Queen Frozen Inspired um, Bottom Washi for in hollow for the frozen kit i'm pretty sure i'm like 99.9% .9 sure i'm using the frozen kit for reagan's birthday week and i just love this so much this one has all of the characters and then this one says show yourself step into your power grow yourself into something new you are the one you've been waiting 
for your whole life. That song gets every time. It's really painful because it's such a good song. Uh, but anyway, love, love this. There's like Frozen characters up here, Frozen 2 characters, or it says Frozen, Frozen 2, and then, you know, these characters from book movies, but figured that would be cute for that kit. Okay, and then I got underlays. I got two of the same underlay in two different colors. I got it in her light green and her gold. This is the Dorothy, it's the rainbows. I'm thinking St. Patrick's Day already, and I don't know why I skipped to St. Patrick's Day. Like, your girl hasn't even gotten through, like, Valentine's Day yet, but I have, like, ideas. But there is this kit that's coming out. I don't know if by the time I release this, like, haul video that it'll be out yet, but there's exclusive art from SPC that I feel like this would just be perfect with. So either I'm going to use one or the other, or I'm going to mix and match, and I think mixing and matching would be, like, low-key the coolest thing ever. So, whatever. You can always use rainbows. So, that was my very small order from Planet Hannah, but like I said, I do need to sit down one day and just, like, go through everything because, like, there's totally some stuff I could get. She has so many underlay options. Next, I have two shirts to show you. I showed you a shirt in the first part, and I was just like, it'd be kind of fun to show you more stuff from small shops. So the first one here I ordered from is from Zippity Tees. This is not on Etsy, but I've ordered from them so many times. This is like very zoomed in, so I apologize. So they came out with a 50th t-shirt design for the 50th um anniversary of magic kingdom and they have a t-shirt a long sleeve like a hoodie a pullover everything i just went with the basic t-shirt because i like it a lot more so it's just like really pretty blue i love when people do comfort colors because they're so like like they're faded and i just oh, i'm obsessed with them so it has the 50 on the front and then on the back i'm like throwing paper has all of the parks so you have studios on top and like the dates that they open so may 1st 1989 epcot um, Animal Kingdom, which I totally didn't know that Animal Kingdom opened like in my lifetime and then Magic Kingdom I'm just like obsessed with this. So I got that shirt from Zippity Tees. That's where I got my like Grinch pullover And have I got anything else from there? Oh, I have I've gotten um, on my Halloween Town long sleeve and my Haunted Mansion long sleeve from them And then next I have from the Pixie Place. This is on Etsy. I've ordered from the Pixie Place so many stinking times This is like the cutest thing ever Love that so I have this shirt. It's funny. I'm actually wearing this shirt right now. So again, another comfort color. This is a long sleeve and this is their like skyline tee basically. I have this already in their blue spruce. I'm actually wearing it today, which is kind of annoying. Um, but I wanted to get it in this, I think they called this the crimson color potentially um, because I wear this shirt all the time and I'm just like, I always get so nervous, especially with, with small shops that if like I get a hole in the sleeve or something rips because I wear my clothes until they wear out. Like I have clothes from when I was in high school that I still wear. It's probably my hoarding problem, but here we are. So I'm just scared like because I love this design so much and I know I'll probably never be able to get it again. So it's like, I really want to get it. So I got this from the Pixie Place. I'm obsessed with their tees and love that. So that's two t-shirts I wanted to share with you guys. All right, and then last we'll get into, I'm moving these stickers out of the way, into wax melts. So I have another order here. This is my second order from Black Magic Melts. I ordered on Black Friday. I actually did already get, I got some stuff that I, or one thing I think that I've already ordered before, so my bad, but I just don't pay attention, but I got a lot because y'all know I love wax melts, so I got a cute little freebie here. This is in coffee creme brulee. Let's see. Oh, that smells really good. I really like that. Okay, so that's delicious. And then I got one, two, three, four, five. So I think the one... I don't remember which one I already got. Maybe it's this one? I don't know. Um, but this is in cranberry zucchini bread. I love how their packaging is like, it matches and like flows so perfectly. So like this is like brown with like red glitters and then their packaging's like red. I don't know, I just feel like it flows so nicely. So this is cranberry zucchini bread. Which one did I already get? Maybe it's the chocolate covered cherries. Eh, I can't get it open though. There we go. Mmm. That zucchini bread just hits so nicely. And the cranberry is like oh, so smooth. It smells so good. I love this one. So that's amazing. Cranberry zucchini bread. I think I already did get the chocolate covered cherries, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'll smell it again because it's here. Why not? Oh my God, it's amazing. So this one's a little bit more chocolatey. But I smell a little hint of the cherry and cherry is kind of a prominent note. So I feel like on warm... That's gonna be bomb. Okay, then I got their blueberry cobbler zucchini bread. Oh, I got so many zucchini bread scents. Uh, this is so pretty, this blue. Ugh. 
I just can't get them open. Maybe I'm just weak, honestly. There we go. And again, these are just like little snap bars. Their wax is soft. I don't think I've ever touched their wax. Mm. Ah! I'm making a mess. Oh my god, I love both blueberry and zucchini. That's like, seriously, some of my favorite scents. That smells so good. Love that. I have wax everywhere. Let me just, you know, do one of those. Okay, and then I got their strawberry white cake zucchini bread because this is a scent that Plana Hannah loves from Birdies, and this is like their rend rendition of it. And I wanted to give it a try because I also like strawberry white cake zucchini bread. Two very good scent notes. Oh my god, the strawberry is very strong. And this one, I feel like the zucchini, like, is a nice base note. Oh my god, I love strawberry, though. Oh my god. That smells so good. I could, like, literally sit here and sniff these all day. Okay, and then I was really interested in this one. So this is cinnamon peppermint cream. This is one of their, like, Christmassy ones. Um, cinnamon and peppermint mixed together. I was like, what the heck? But, you guys, this actually smells wild. Like, so good. It's so interesting because cinnamon and peppermint are two very strong, I almost feel like opposing scents, but together it's like, oh my God. It literally smells like I'm eating a candy cane and a red hot at the same time, or like a hot tamale. Oh my God, that's so good. Ugh, that is amazing. So that was my order from Black Magic Melts. And last but not least for this part of the haul, I have an order from L3. This is my Black Friday order. I do have a pre-order um, coming. I think it's coming this month, so you should see some more L3. Um, I have not ordered from L3 in a while. I think my account said since July, but I might have ordered like not on my account. So it has been a couple of months. It's just like I have so much wax, as you guys probably know and I don't go th I like I don't go through my l3 as often because like it's in one drawer by itself and I only pull two of those every couple of weeks you know so I was like okay I'll just slow it down but like I'm telling you her restock lists always get me so I try to avoid them but Black Friday I just couldn't I was in a very shopping heavy mood so here are my samples just open her up um, this is a beautiful color. This is in the mist. I don't know the scent note for this one. Oh God, maybe a little ozone something. Oh, that is like really manly. I think Brian might like that one. That's a little, a little strong for me. Uh, this next one's cute. It's a little monorail uh, or like a train car, I suppose. I just assume everything's a monorail. Uh, this is in Silent Night. Again, I do not know the scent notes on this one. Oh, this is like, Pepperminty, eucalyptus -y, very herbal. Mm -mm. Not a big fan of that one. And then I have a sample here of a scoopable. I actually think I have um, a sample of this already. Blue sugar, pink sugar, boardwalk, mallow clouds. It's a good scent. Very soft. The pink sugar and blue sugar mix is fantastic. I really like this one. So at least I liked one of these, right? You know? Okay. So first things first, I got two bougie bars and unfortunately both of them broke which is fine because it's literally wax it's what i'm gonna do anyway um but yeah i got two bougie bars my camera is about to die so let me change my battery really quick Alrighty, so the first one here oh my gosh i'm sorry is in christmas parade this is hot cocoa and whipped cream with crushed candy canes this is one of my family's favorite holiday traditions i don't think i've ever gotten any christmas scents from l3 before oh my god I don't smell any hot cocoa. I literally just smell all candy cane, which is totally fine with me. That smells so good. Love that one. The other one I got here is in Annabelle, which is, I, okay, so I was really interested in this one because I melted a sample that I'm fairly certain was very close to this, and I just don't remember it because it was a sample. Oh gosh, sorry, I'm out of focus here. I don't remember it because it was a sample and like, it just, I, I don't know, maybe I wasn't in my room for a long period of time. I don't really know. Um, I think the sample just didn't have the cream cheese in it. So this is banana nut bread, cream cheese, frosting, cre cream cheese, frosting, golden grams. So I don't know. Oh, this is broken in two places. I mean, who cares though? It's already broken for me to melt. It's very runty, like Laffy Taffy banana, which I totally do not mind. I like that smell a lot. It actually makes me want to like go to the store right now and get like a thing of runs and Laffy Taffy. Oh wait, I smell a little bit of the golden grams. I don't smell too much of the cream cheese frosting, but I am interested to see this one. I kind of bought that mostly just to see if I would like that. Um, I did get a sampler of something. We'll go through that last. 
Did I only get two? No. I got some bunts. I got a bunch of like everything. Okay, so I got three two-pack buns. These two-pack buns are like kind of my favorite thing that L3 does because I feel like it's the best thing for your buck because I cut mine into fours and it's just, I don't know, you could eight melts out of these. So this first one here is in cream-filled strawberry pound cake, our house blend sweet cream strawberry cupcakes at Tiffany's. I love anything strawberry that L3 does. I, I think it just might be I like strawberry in general. Oh my God, this is amazing. Literally anything strawberry I think might be my jam. <laughs> no, but for real, I, I really do think strawberry is like my thing. I just really like it. Which, speaking of, Ant's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. This is strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. I have melted this before. Um, maybe it was a puppy pack. Maybe it was fluted tarts. I don't know. But every, anytime I see it now, I want to purchase it. I have not seen it yet in a loaf, but I will get it in a loaf the second they have it because this is one of my favorite scents of all time. It's so good. It's so good. Like, I just don't understand why it's so stinking good. Like, ugh, it's amazing. Love that one. And then the last pack of buns that I got here is... Um, I don't think I've ever gotten this before and I was really interested. Diet Starts Monday Zucchini Bread. So Diet Starts Monday is Cotton Candy Frosting, Sugar Cookie Royale, Santa's on Keto, and Sugared Shortbread. These colors are really pretty. Is it meant to be like an ombre? Because that's kind of gorgeous. So it's that mixed with Zucchini Bread. Oh my god, it smells so good. It kind of smells like the ultimate bakery scent. Yeah, that's really good. I really like that. I'm interested to smell Diet Starts Monday by itself though. So. Those are the bunts, and then I got some puppy packs. Um, this one here. Oh my gosh, I haven't gotten any with like their Christmas shapes yet. This is so cute. So this is in buttercream frosting, zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale, wild berry mousse. These puppy packs are so easy to just to pop one in. I usually do two, but I mean, especially like, do you see how small this size is? I would do two for sure, but. Oh, that smells so nice. I feel like a lot of the stuff I got is like relatively the same, but you guys know my type, I feel. This next one's really pretty. It's mint. It's blueberry muffin, pumpkin pecan waffles, and pie crust. Oh, I already smelled these already, but I don't remember them. Mmm, this is so pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh my god. That smells so good. I can smell a little bit of the blueberry too, but that is so yummy. The next one I got here... Oh, I'm excited for this one. This is Hot Orange Danish Coffee Bean Cookie Therapy. Um, I think is Cookie Therapy Santa's on Keto Pretzel Sugared Shortbread? I think so. Um, I have had their Hot Orange Danish Coffee Bean. I think it might have been Hot Orange Danish like espresso before. It's amazing. Hannah, Planet Hannah has said Hot Orange Danish and coffee mixed together is surprisingly wonderful and I have melted it and it is surprisingly wonderful. So I saw this blend and I was like close enough. Yeah, it's incredible. Incredible. I just don't get it. What is like the thing with orange and coffee mixed together? It just smells so good. I really love that. Last puppy pack I got here is something I was really interested in. This is Season of the Witch, which is their apples and leaves blend. Oh my god, that's incredible. The apple is very prominent. I say this a lot. Mac apple is such a prominent scent. But leaves does not disappoint. That smells so good. It's so funny that it's in like Christmas shapes. But I've been wanting to try it and they haven't like restocked it since fall. So here I am trying it now. Okay, I did get um one. Yes, one pack of four pack fluted tarts, which these I cut in half. Actually, I probably could just melt a whole one of these, but I do cut them in half. This is in blueberry muffin, buttermilk, flapjacks, glazed donuts. Are they using a different kind of wax? Because I've never noticed theirs to like change colors like this before. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, it smells so good. So blueberry. I get a little hint of the glazed donuts, which is really nice. I don't really smell the buttermilk flapjacks too much, but like blueberries is good enough for me. I did get one Bitty Betty loaf. And oh, I'm excited for this one. So I have melted both Leviosa and I put a spell on you and I love them both. So I saw this little bitty betty here in Leviosa, I put a spell on you, which is apple cider leaves. I, oh yeah, so is that Leviosa? Apple cider leaves? That makes sense then. Apple cider leaves and then I put a spell on you is spicy cinnamon sugar, spicy cinnamon sugar French baguettes with our top secret bakery bomb blend. Right? Maybe. 
Oh my God, that's incredible. Love this so much. That is so good. So I got all this and then I saw, well, first of all, I found my sticker. Act if what you do makes makes difference. Probably makes a difference. It does, William James. Very nice. So they have had these, um, what are they called? Samplers, chunky bunt samplers in their shop for forever. The last pre-order, I think in July that they did, I got the fizzy pop sampler, but they still have a lot of them in stock. And I was like, okay, a lot of people have talked about the fresh pick strawberry one. Let me just grab it. So I grabbed the chunky bunt sampler and fresh pick strawberries because like, I wanted to try it. I'm gonna put all these back in here though because like, it's gonna take over. I'm gonna melt this one, but I'll put the other two away. Okay, so let's go over this. Um, so the chunky buns essentially are the chunks, I think are like whatever the theme is. So for this one, it would be fresh picked strawberries. And then the overpour of the bunt is the other scents. So this one is in Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, fresh picked strawberries, pink chiffon. So this is what it looks like here. So then this would be the fresh picked strawberries. And then this overpour is everything else. And this smells great. I love the mixture of pink chiffon. Pink chiffon, yeah, it smells really good. It smells like pink sugar. Oh my gosh, now it's gonna be a pain in my butt to get this back in. But I'm really excited to melt this. I this fresh picked strawberries, I said this two minutes ago. Their strawberry scents just do not disappoint. They are so good. It makes me want to experiment with strawberry more because that just smells so good. This next one here is in strawberry salad. This bunt or chunk is huge. Uh, fresh picked strawberries, honeydew melon, watermelon, lemon, sugar crystals. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. That's another thing. I never thought I would like melon scents. But ever since we did a cucumber melon scent and ever since I melted that cucumber melon scent, that's like all I want to melt. That smells so good. Honeydew melon though. Mm. Pretty fire. I like that one. Okay. Next here is berry waffle cone type fresh picked strawberries. It's so funny. So I bought a berry waffle cone hand soap from Bath and Body Works in the summer, maybe in the spring. And it smelled horrible. Like I gagged when I opened it and smelled it. Even Brian was like, that's disgusting. Like I threw it away instantly when we got home. I was like, yeah, I can't melt this um, or use it. But like, maybe I just got a bad one because every other berry waffle cone thing I've smelled has smelled good. So maybe it was just like, I don't know, just maybe like a one-off. I hope so because like this smells pretty good. Next, I love this color, it's blue. This is in red, white, and blue cake, which is blueberries, fresh picked strawberries, whipped cream, white cake. Oh, sounds so good. Oh, this smells so good. I would totally melt this on 4th of July. Probably will get to it by 4th of July too. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm obsessed with that. Next one here is in white elephant exchange, which is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, and white cake vanilla frosting with fresh picked strawberries and satsuma. Satsuma is like a citrusy smell which is kind of all I'm getting. Yeah, that's like all I'm getting is the Satsuma, but hopefully on warm, the vanilla and the strawberries come out. Um, next up is Strawberry Pound Cake Fresh Picked Strawberry Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh, this is gonna be a winner. Oh my God, so strawberry, so good. I could smell this all day. That smells so yummy. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure these are like perfectly closed so no scent escapes. Okay, the next one here, second to last, is Sweetie Pie Fresh Pick Strawberries. I don't know what Sweetie Pie is, but the colors are just so pretty. Oh my God, it's so good. All I smell is the Fresh Pick Strawberries, though, so maybe Sweetie Pie is a very, like, subtle note, or it's just more strawberry. All right, and then the last one I have, and the last thing for this part of the haul is Cucumber Mango Fresh Pick Strawberries Citrus, and is that tahin? Tahin? I think that's tahin. Mmm, that's good. That mango. Oh, I really like that. That's really nice. So that is everything from L3 for my Black Friday order. And that is it for this portion of the haul. Alrighty, so I'm here with the final December haul bit. I can already tell this video is going to be quite long, but I'm excited because November was not that long. So I'm filming this final haul portion on December 18th because I fully do not think anything else is coming at least I have no more open orders 
but I have a lot to show you and I'm very excited. And the first two things are my two new planners for next year. And I do say two because I am using two planners next year, which I'm really excited about because I haven't used two planners at the same time in a long time. So first and foremost, I'm gonna get into my Aura Style New Cloud for 2022. Do you wanna quickly take a guess what color I got? You can take a guess, it's fine. I actually don't even know the correct color name, so let me just like look that up really briefly while you're thinking. But um, I'm super excited. So if you do not know, I did, I did split up my um, 2021 planners into two because it's just, it's a lot. Um, so I do plan on doing that again next year if, you know, everything stays the same and a lot goes on. But for now, this is my one and only cloud for 2022. It is in, are you ready? Dark Sapphire. It's one of the new gemstone ones. It is so pretty. I, Andre sent me a picture of all of the new gemstone ones a couple of weeks ago and was like, do you want one of these? And it was so hard because I really liked all of them, honestly. Like, I thought they were all super, super pretty. But the, like, navy really just spoke to me. I felt like it was very just, like, oh, so pretty. And, like, oh, it's just so nice. So it has silver accents. And it is a cloud. This is my third year with a cloud. And I'm obsessed. I don't even need this anymore. And I already have my inserts. I showed them in my, like, last haul or the haul before that. They're actually right down here. Oops. They're actually a mess. Hold on. 2022 inserts. So... I will be adding those in here soon, but she's just so pretty. I love like a fresh cloud and she just feels so like luxurious and wonderful. I should just kept that thing in there because I feel like it feels a little bit safer, you know? So this is my Aura Still Cloud for 2022. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to keep it in its little uh, dust bag until I'm ready to pull it out because for me, I probably won't have like another month till I pull it out, but... That is my order from Aura Style. Alrighty, next up I have an order here from Print Impression. So I am gonna be using two planners next year, hopefully, because I have an idea. So one night I was laying in bed and I was like dreaming. I'm not even kidding you guys. I was dreaming of like going back to bullet journaling. I was like, bullet journaling was so nice. It was so easy for me to track so many different things. Um, and I really need something because I'm just using like notes in my phone constantly and I just really want to be able to put pen to paper. And then the next day I check Instagram and Kane has posted a new like B6 insert like goal series. It was everything I wanted. You have no idea. So I was literally dreaming about it and then he posted about it the next day. Amazing. So here's my order. Let me show you everything. Okay. I'm going to move this box out of my space. Ooh, that was really loud and it did not need to be. Okay, so first and foremost, I did get a B6 rings from Print Impressions. I got this beautiful gray. Oh, this is, like, there's so many color options, honestly. Like, it was kind of difficult to choose, but I just wanted to go with, like, this classic gray color because I have a feeling I'm going to be bringing it to work. And, like, I don't know. I'm just, oh, look how nice this is. I'm just so stinking excited to use this. So, look at all these pockets. There's so many little pockets in here. I don't even know if I'll decorate this, but it's so nice to have. So this is my little B6 from Print Impression. And then here are the inserts I'm gonna be putting in it. I have two separate insert types in here. I'll show you both. Maybe I'll do a video on setting this up. We shall see. Um, so first and foremost, I did get the monthly, the B6 monthly undated because one of the things I wanted, I thought it came in the goal planner, but it didn't, were undated months because I do have like a little monthly planner that I've been using to track certain things. This is from um, the Honey Bee Shop and I'm almost done with it and I don't know, I, they don't have any more in shop and I was like, I need like some sort of monthly. So this is just like the undated versions. Um, oh, this is so nice. This is gonna be so convenient for me. So there's like a lot of different months in here. Hold on, how many months are there? I think it's 12, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's gotta be 12. Anyway, so this is one of the first inserts I got. And then this is the, I believe it's called like the goal setting inserts. Let me zoom you in just a tiny bit more here. Alrighty, so this front page here, there's so many. 
this front page here says dare to begin oh, i'm so excited and then you have a look here at 2022 and then a look ahead at 2023 which is very helpful i might even get like a little mild liner pens and highlight like important dates um but i might just leave it blank because who knows okay and then here you have a five-year goal plan which i kind of enjoy because 10 when people ask like where do you see yourself in 10 years i'm like dang 10 years is kind of a long time like i don't know um but five years seems a little bit more realistic so i enjoy this you have the year vision and then one year two years three years four years five years oh i love this so much can you guys see it okay let me zoom in just a little bit more okay goal planner so you have two different goals start date end date 20 percent, 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent 100 percent as you finish them milestones your action plan completed your reward and notes so you have a few pages of that which i really like especially because i own a shop and i feel like that's so helpful and this like most of this stuff is stuff i would have put in my bullet journal so it's like ugh, just to have it is so nice um, the 30 days challenge habit to create start date end date reward why i'd like to create this habit your action plan and then like a habit tracker um you have two of those i probably could use more of these but that's okay and then 100 days of whatever you want and you just mark everything off i did it how did it go what have you learned and then you have you another kind of like dashboard page you can do more than you think and then i think this is like the weekly planner yes part of this which is kind of helpful so you have like every day like i guess i would put like my main tasks for this day main objective objectives for the week excuse me your habits you're tracking down here and some grid paper here and then you have to do monday and i like that you can put whatever date you want so say for example you start doing this in january and you're like okay you know what i'm gonna take like the month of february off and come back you can easily come back it's very simple so then you have for monday your top three tasks additional tasks the estimated time of like when it should take you i love i've always wanted to get an hourly planner but like they're always dated and they're always like monday through sunday and it's like i only need this for like certain days and i know this says monday but i could easily just mark that off and be like thursday because like it's helpful so you have 7 a.m to 8 p.m events notes things like that so that's monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I like that the weekend is split up and not on the same page. A lot of planners put Saturday and Sunday on the same page and I'm like, I'm still pretty productive on the weekend. So I like that it's split up and then it starts back over. Weekly planner starting on Monday. So I even could just take the Monday through whatever pages out because like I don't technically really do much until Thursday anyway. So this goes until for like a while. I wonder if you could buy, I'm sure. I'm sure he has like fillers for this. You can buy more. So then it just goes. I think that's everything, right? Or is there more? There should be more. Ooh, sorry guys. I'm not good at showing planners. Yes, there's more. Okay, good. So it goes to here. You have a nice chunky chunk. Oh my God, my wrist is itchy. Chunky chunk. And then you have another sort of dashboard page here. I'm going to probably get tabs. I own tabs. I'm going to put tabs on these. Okay, and then you have your year financial overview, which I love. You have yearly goals, your action plan, every single month, income, expenses, savings, debt. Love that. Bill trackers. I love this so much. And you can track them. So like for me, I would put like our utilities and things on here each month. Or like, yeah, I guess each month how much they cost, the due date, and then like marking them off, which is really helpful. I actually really like that a lot. Um, debt payoff goal. Oh, how many are there? Because this is nice too. Okay, well, that's still nice. That's still nice. So I love this. I love that you can mark off how much you pay off. That's so nice. Two different ones of these. And then you have your monthly budget. Oh, again, this is like exactly what I wanted. This is literally what I was going to put in a, a, a bullet journal. Sorry, I spaced. Month, income, initial balance, financial goals, financial expenses, other expenses, and your summary. This is basically if you watch my budgeting videos this is what i was doing okay and then this goes for it should be 12 12 spaces but if it's not it's fine i'll get more eventually another sort of dashboard page and then you just have note paper which is or like notebook paper this is exactly what i was looking for straight up out the gate exactly what i was looking for minus the months i really wanted those but i'm just so happy percussion king came out with this i feel like this is just like literally exactly what i was looking for i can't repeat it enough i'm so excited to set this up i'm gonna put these back in here because i'm very nervous i'm gonna mess them up until i set up this planner i'm definitely not doing it today i'll do it another day but i'm really looking forward to it maybe i will do sorry Ooh. here we go 
Um, maybe I'll do a video of me setting it up. Maybe I will wait and do a video after like a month of using it or a couple months of using it and I'll have like a better idea of how I want to use it. But I'm just so happy. So this is my order here from Print Pression. Wax. I just have two wax orders and that's going to be it for this haul, but they are mighty. Um, this is my Black Friday order from Nerdy Wax Company and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So I already always go, oh, I forgot I left the candy in here. Thank you. That is literally going to make my whole day. Um, I always leave everything in here. I obviously go through everything beforehand, so it doesn't look like how nice it usually looks. But there's two Starbursts in here, which like ever since Halloween, the girls got a bunch of Starbursts. I ate most of them because I don't even like them. I've been obsessed with Starburst. Um, you have two little stickers here. This one looks like a clear one of the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. And this one is a little Mickey Mouse holding some flowers you have the nerdy wax company like business card and then my order so i did get two freebies so the first here is a tiny shot cup in sylvie which is obsession perfume apple peels pineapple and plums Ooh, oh, i didn't even wipe it mm, that's very nice it definitely smells very perfumey but i still really enjoy that and then i also got this freebie this was from their um subscription box it's a candle so this is the Pumpkin King Pumpkin Pie Spice and Vanilla Whipped Cream. It's like, it's almost the size of a shot cup. Actually, I think it probably is the size of a shot cup. But it's super cute. I love the color. Mmm, that smells really nice. It just smells like a pumpkin pie, which, ooh, I almost like tossed in here, which I really enjoy. So those were my two freebies. And then this, like I said, was my Black Friday order. So I got some stuff from their Nerdy Wax the nightmare before christmas box so the first one i got here is this little one ounce cup i love how it's two-toned in sandy claws this is peppermint sticks and rich vanilla milkshakes that's really pretty oh i love the little snowflakes i didn't even see them when i opened this stuck to me though thank you mm. it just smells like you know what this actually smells like this actually smells just like the chick-fil-a peppermint milkshake so love that that is amazing um, another one from that box, this is in, I usually just go through the listings, it's just one listing and I look at all of the item descriptions and like what sounds the most appealing to me. This is in Barrel, which is Cotton Candy and Hawaiian Punch. I love this like light lilac -y lavender color. Oh my god, that smells exactly like Hawaiian Punch. I love a good Hawaiian Punch scent. And then I think the last one I got from that collection or that like mystery box was Oogie Boogie, which is sour lemon pound cake and green apples. I was really interested in the sour lemon pound cake. And you have Oogie Boogie right here. It smells pretty good, actually. I don't think I smell any of the green apple, which is strange because like typically apple is such a strong scent, but like I don't mind that at all. That's actually really nice. Okay, and then this, the rest of the stuff is last stuff that they released on Black Friday. So I got one of these. It looks so cute. It looks like a little Christmas tree cake. Oh, sorry. It went out of focus. Come back to me. Why is my camera doing this? It's just getting old. It looks like one of the cute little Christmas tree cakes. It's in Christmas tree cakes, which is vanilla pound cake and whipped, whipped frosting. Sorry. <laughs> Reading this hard. Mm, and it smells exactly like vanilla pound cake. I really enjoy that one. I got this cute little pack of like shapes here. This is in Christmas Vacation, which is pumpkin cheesecake. I was so interested in this one because I got the pumpkin cheesecake when we were at Disney. We were eating at Cinderella's Royal Table. It was their like seasonal dessert item and it was honestly amazing. So I was like, dang, I kind of want to relive that. And yeah, it, it smells exactly like a pumpkin cheesecake. That's just spot on fantastic. Um, I got one shot cup here. They had a elf collection as well, which is so cool. I love when like I just I thought it was awesome So this is buddy the elf which is lemon pound cake and sugar cookies. How can you go wrong with both of those? Mm, it's a little light. I think it'll definitely need some cure time, but I'm very excited for that one And then the other item I got from the elf collection This is the last thing I got from nerdy wax is the four main food groups, which I thought was so funny because that's like one of my favorite scenes in Elf. So it's like Buddy's four main food groups. And I love how it's packaged. Super cute. So the first one is maple syrup. It smells just like maple syrup. That smells incredible. Candy canes. Those are so cute. Mm, love a good candy cane scent. I'll keep it like that. Candy. Those are so cute too. Mm, very sweet. Very light though. Hopefully that comes out more again on warm. And then candy corn. 
Oh, I love these little candy corns they've been doing. Again, this is pretty light, so hopefully that comes out on warm, but I thought this was just so stinking cute. So that was my order from Nerdy Wax Company. Okay, and last but not least, I'm just gonna try and show this quickly. I have my pre-order from L3 um, Waxy Wonders. I'm just gonna push my desk. Um, this pre-order actually came a lot faster, I feel like, than most pre-orders, and maybe I'm just crazy, but super excited about everything. It did come with some candy and stuff, but I gave the candy to my kids because they were right next to me as I was opening everything. So the first thing here is the sample bag. Um, let's do, these are so cute. Um, oh, I love this like color. It's like an orangey red. This is in Uzu, Strawberry Jam, Chamomile, and Tonka. Mm. Honestly, all I smell is the strawberry jam. Maybe a little hint of the chamomile. That's really good. Enjoy that. This one is in oatmeal milk and honey, oatmeal milk and honey santal, santal leaves. I think I said that right. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I can smell the oatmeal, which is nice. But everything else is a little. I don't know. I mean, I'll still melt it because it's small and it's a sample size, but I don't know about that one. And then this is in pear vanilla lace magnolia. That's so weird. That pear smells so good. I never thought I would be like, I love this pear scent. But like, I actually really like that. That smells pretty nice. Okay, so I got some puppy packs and then I got three of the um, samplers that were offered. I'll go through the puppy packs first. Um, the first one here I have is called Can't Catch Me. A lot of these were Christmas scents. I'm pretty sure all the puppy packs I got were. This is gingerbread, brown sugar, pound cake, caramelized pralines. Sorry. And it's all like, well, some of it's Christmassy stuff. Let's see. Mmm. Very gingerbready, very brown sugar. I really like this one a lot. That smells so good. This next one, I think this one was my favorite of the puppy packs. This is Jingle Jangle, which is peppermint bark, pretzel, and mallow. I think this is the one I made Brian smell. Yeah, because it's so interesting. Because pretzel mixed with peppermint is like so weird in like theory. But like, it doesn't smell terrible. Like it actually smells pretty good. So I really liked that one. The next one I have here is Frosty's Freeze, Buttermint's Candy Cane Vanilla Buttercream. I love the color of this one. I love the way Buttermint and like Peppermint mix. They just smell so good together. I really enjoyed that one. The next one I have here is in Holiday Woods. This has like a little fish I didn't even notice. It looks like a little Swedish fish. That's funny. Uh, this is peppermint vanilla and a hint of fir trees. Okay, yeah, so this one, oof, the fir tree is way strong. Like, I can smell the peppermint. It's definitely there. It's definitely a note I smell. But the fir tree mixed with that is just like, oof, I don't know. So I'm going to melt a couple of these and see if I like it. And if I don't, it might be like a bathroom scent because that's a little rough. The next one I got because I have been obsessed. Oh, what's her name? What's her channel name? I think it's like... M's crafty something or another. I just went to Instagram instead of YouTube. Um, it's M's crafty corner. I've been obsessed with her her wax haul videos. They're so interesting. And she mentioned the Huckleberry scent, and I saw this and I was like, I really want to try it. So this is Huckleberry Harvest Brown Sugar Pound Cake. And the Huckleberry is so good. She's definitely right. It does like give me blueberry vibes. But it's like pretty great. So if I ever see anything with Huckleberry again, I'm probably going to grab it because I really do enjoy that. And then the last puppy pack I have here. Oh, I love this one. This one's in Dreidel Dreidel. It's fresh, ba fresh baked bread, cinnamon sugar, Danish butter cookies. Ugh, y'all know I just love me a good bakery scent. And that is, whew, that is just the fresh baked bread note on that one. It's just so good. So those are all my puppy packs. And then like I said, I got three of the samplers. I'll start with like my least... This is so sad to say. My least favorite sampler, because a lot of these scents are strange to me, and like, I don't know. I'll explain. So this was the Christmas sampler. I love the bag. So cute. And you know what? I'm not mad if some of the scents are strange, because they're bunts. You can cut them into four, and that's it. You don't have to like deal with it as like a, a, a big loaf or anything. So this first one here is a Naughty Nutcracker, which is roasted chestnuts, sweet maple coffee, and vanilla. This one was... 10 out of 10, I already know, and I love the gray. Oh yeah, that is just fantastic. I really liked this one. 
The next one in here is Christmas Crunchies, which is candy canes, Danish butter cookies, sugar cookies, and mallow fluff. I love that they did the little dashes through here. I hope they continue that because that is very helpful for my little brain. This one was also good because it definitely smells like candy canes and cookies. Like if you made sugar cookies and put like chopped up candy canes in it, not bad at all. This one is in Grinched, which is toasted pistachio vanilla buttercream waffle cones. This one's also good. It's very heavy on the pistachio. I forgot to show you guys what the buns look like. I cut these into four, but they smell, this one smells pretty great. I'm setting myself up for failure. Maybe I did like this one and I'm just being silly. Okay. Ooh. This next one is in Silent Night, which is fresh snow, sweet lavender, and sugared spruce. Yeah, this one I didn't like because the sugared spruce. I just think the only tree scent I like is the balsam. Is that a tree scent? Pine tree. Is that right? Yeah, pine tree. Fresh balsam. Is that a tree? It's a tree. It has to be a tree. Because I wasn't a fan of the fir and the spruce is just a little, it's just a lot. It's just a lot for my nose. This next one is in Snug in Their Beds, which is vanilla lace, snuggle type, and Fraser fur. The laundry note in this one is coming out the strongest, which I really appreciate. I don't really smell the fur too much. I actually really like a good laundry scent, so I do like that one. How many were in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. This is Christmas at the Cabin, wood smoke, freshly cut Christmas trees, and sweet cinnamon sticks. I think I set myself up for failure here because I actually do like the majority of these. This one's amazing, red hot cinnamon. I love, I love a red hot cinnamon scent. Like, love it with all my heart, so that's so good. This is cookies under the tree, candy canes, Fraser fur, sugar cookies, and gingerbread. The fur is a little, a little, a little much in this one, so I'm hoping the candy canes and the sugar cookies and the gingerbread kinda come in and help me out here. And then the last one is Christmas PJs. Maybe I didn't hate, I felt like when I opened all of these, I like hated most of them, but I'm just a liar. This is Christmas PJs, Downy, Sugar Cookies, and Blue Spruce. I feel like laundry mixed with sugar cookie is so weird. So weird. But I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> so it's hard to explain. Like it's weird, but I don't hate it. So that's the first bundle or like the first, yeah, I guess bundle. Um, the next one I got is the mint because Brian likes mint scents, as do I. I typically feel like they help when I have a headache. But I've learned through this mint bundle that I only like certain mint scents. So this first one here is in Spearmint Vanilla Ice Cream Birthday Cake Sugar, Co Sugar Cookie Royale. I don't think I like Spearmint. I don't think I do. Yeah, it's like it smells like bubble gum, which is fine. But that's all I smell, which makes me kind of sad. Will I melt it? Yes. Uh, the next one here is Peppermint Steel Sugar. 10 out of 10. Oh, it smells, I love, I love a good peppermint scent. That is so nice. Next one is Twisted Peppermint Pink Sugar Crystals. Again, 10 out of 10. Pink sugar, mix it with any peppermint, buttermint. Oh, it's amazing. And I love all the colors of the pep, like the mint bundle. They're all like blues, light greens, and that gray, super pretty. This is in Rosemary Mint Bum Bum Pistachio Ice Cream. Don't hate this one. It's also not a favorite, but I'll still melt it. This is creme de menthe, butter mint, and cake batter. This one I remember loving. Oh yeah. This one you can smell every single individual note. That is a good one. I'm gonna have to start layering these. The next one I have here is peppermint, vanilla wafer, and whipped cream. Another, oh, vanilla wafer is so interesting. Another one I really enjoy. Next is Buttermint Cupcakes at Tiffany's Sweet Bakery Dough. I think I really enjoyed this one too. Oh yeah, that Cupcakes at Tiffany's, like, that is so good. I'm gonna have to do that scent soon because I really like that. And then lastly, for this mint bundle, I have Wintergreen Adipose. Oh my gosh. The Wintergreen smells like Lifesaver Mints. I actually really like it, like a lot. Why do I love that? If I see this wintergreen in any any like big Betty loaf, I probably will get it because I actually really like that. All right, and then last but not least, oh, I found my sticker. Here's my sticker. People don't notice whether it's winter or summer when they're happy. 
That's cute. Okay, I need to save this box though. The last bundle I got was the coffee one because I love a good coffee scent. This one I remember enjoying a lot. I'm gonna move some of these. Okay, so this one is in, oh, this is a good one. Zucchini bread, sugar cookie, royale, espresso. I mean, I have no words. It's just, that's so good. Next one is in tiramisu, espresso, cherry almond. All I smell is the cherry almond. It's good. I love a good cherry almond scent, so I'll take it. I think I liked every single one of these, honestly. This is in Coffee House, Coffee Bean, Orange Vanilla Coffee. Oh, this one is so good, too. Golly, I love, I love a good coffee scent. That is so yummy. Next one here is in Espresso Better Than Sex Cake, Cream Cheese, Frosting. Oh, that reminds me, I need to cook. I'm making dinner tonight. <laughs> Every coffee, I'm gonna get every single coffee sampler she ever or, ever makes, ever. These are so good. Um, next one here is in coffee bean, vanilla bean, Noel, cinnamon sugar. I could die in these scents. They are so yummy. That is so good. I love that one. Sorry, I'm a terrible wax YouTuber. I just, I love them all. They're all so good. I can't pick out specific notes because I'm just so dang happy. Next one here is in coffee bean, sweet bakery dough, sugar cookie dough. All I smell is the coffee bean, but like, I'll take it. Hopefully the other dough scents come out on warm, but I could care less if they don't. Why am I putting them to my right? I should be like piling them on top, right? Making them look like I have a problem, which I do. I'm not buying wax for a while, unless something like crazy comes out. And then the next one I have here is called Jolly AF. For those of us who are a little bit extra around the holidays, a grande half-calf roasted coffee with no sugar added hazelnut flavoring made with organic fair trade coconut milk. I think this was the only one I was very meh on. Yeah, this one's like, okay. Like it smells like decaf coffee, honestly. Like it doesn't really have like a scent to it, but it's all right. And then this one is in peppermint mocha sweet cream. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so that is it for my L3 order. I just, I can't stop, but I have to stop. Yeah, I think my January haul is not gonna be as crazy. Um, if, if, if there's even a haul, there's definitely gonna be a haul, but it probably is gonna be just like November's, but I hope you guys enjoyed this December monthly haul. I don't want to edit it, but I have to, and I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, for the 30th time. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.